excited as this week's video is actually sponsored by Cricut. Now, have you ever seen personalized cake toppers and wondered how you can make these at home yourselves? Now, Cricut create a range of cutting machines and they've kindly sent me the Cricut Maker 3 and I'm gonna be using this in today's video to show you how you can make your own cake toppers. Okay, let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our cake toppers is first of all, I've got my Cricut Maker 3. So if I just open up the top, and I love how it opens. I've already got it switched on and we've got our blade already loaded in. We've then got this compartment at the bottom where we can just add some tools. And just in the side, I've got some more of the little Cricut tools. I will be running through some of these as we make our toppers. Now, all of these tools, along with a small guillotine, which is great for cutting the card, came with the Cricut Essential Toolkit. Now, I've already got the Cricut machine linked up to my computer. If you didn't use a computer, you could also use a tablet or your mobile. Now, for my first topper, I'm gonna to be using some of the Cricut Glitter Card. So this is gonna make a really sparkly cake topper. This pack that I've got here is just filled with such bright colors of glitter card and I'm actually going to be using the pink one. I've then got the Cricut standard grip mat. So for some of their materials you are going to need a mat to stick them down on before popping them into your machine. So this one just has a protective film on there and you just want to add this back on every time you use the mat as it is really sticky. So I'm going to start by taking my glitter card and just sticking that down. Now once we've cut it out in order to stick our cake top up onto our cake you're going to need some kind of stick so you can either use some bamboo skewers or even some cake pop sticks and i'm just going to be using some really tacky double-sided sellotape to attach these onto my topper but you can also use some craft glue okay so now our machine and our glitter paper is ready i've jumped on the computer and loaded up the cricut design space so this is a new project and you can just see we've got this grid in the center and you can change how your grid looks so you can add images text shapes or also upload images now for my cake toppers I'm just going to add text so I'm going to type in here happy fifth birthday and if I select that I can centralize it and I can also change the size of it so you can see at the top we've got some measurements here I can also go up here and also change the size so I'm just gonna make that slightly bigger whilst we work on it and we can resize it once we've finished. Now I wanna change the font that we're using. So if I go into fonts, and I've actually got Cricut fonts selected. Now with Cricut, one thing that you can do is subscribe to the Cricut Access. So this is a monthly subscription and this gives you over 400 additional fonts to ones that you might have on your computer. It also gives you images that you can use and pre-made projects that you can load straight in and customize. So this means that you don't have to always create your own projects to use the Cricut machine. So I'm gonna use one of the Cricut fonts and one that I found that I really like is called Annie Lou. Now for this top, I want it to be one complete shape. So we're gonna to need to move some of these letters around. So what I'm gonna do is come up here to ungroup. So I'm gonna start just by bringing in that H slightly. So as you can see, I'm just slightly overlapping it with the A and this is gonna mean we can cut it out as one shape. I can then do the same with the fifth. Now I'm gonna make that five slightly bigger. So I'm gonna attach that to the edge of the Y and then I want to connect the birthday so I'm going to select all of those letters together so this is going to make it stand a little bit better on the cake now one of the issues we've got here is the top of this eye so when this is cut out that dot at the top is going to be separate so what I'm going to do is come over to my shapes panel and here you can see we've got some free shapes that you can use I've also got some additional shapes that are included with the access subscription 
But I'm gonna select this square. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller, unlock it so that I can make thin rectangle. I'm gonna use it to connect the top and the bottom of my eye. Now, at the moment, you can see an outline around all of my letters, and that is gonna be where the Cricut machine cuts. So I want this to cut out as one shape. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom, or you can right click and select weld. I can then select that, and I'm gonna resize it. So I want it to be around seven inches in width. Once you're happy with how your letters are laid out, and you can add any text you like, I'm gonna come over to the corner and select make it. It's then gonna ask how you wanna load your material for this project. So we've added our glitter card onto a mat. So I'm gonna select that and click done. You can now see that our topper is on our mat. So this is where it's gonna cut on the glitter card. And we've then got a list of all the materials. Now, there are lots of different machines in the Cricut range, but one great thing about the Cricut Maker 3 is it accurately cuts over 300 materials. So if I go to Browse All Materials, you'll see a whole list of everything that it can cut. So we've got different kind of art boards, we've got card stocks, fabrics, we've also got felt and foam. We've also got foil and metal. So as well as cutting, you can also draw, you can score, you can deboss, you can also engrave, add perforations or wavy lines all with the one machine. So I'm going to come back up to the top and in cardstock, I'm just going to select a glitter cardstock and select done. Now it's asking us to load the fine point blade, which is the blade that comes with the machine. It's then asking us to load the mat and press the load and unload button. So I'm going to load my mat into my Cricut machine. Once the machine has then accepted the material, we can then press go and the machine is going to cut out our cake to burn. Now, I really love that on the screen in the design space, you can see what percentage of the topper has been cut. And once it's at 100%, you know that it's finished. Once that's finished, I can then remove my mat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just remove the larger piece of my glitter paper. Now with these mats, especially when you first start using them, they are extremely sticky. So I've just got this small spatula tool and also this weeding tool. And I'm just gonna use this just to lift off my topper. Now I know that if you're new to creating projects like this, it can seem a little bit daunting, but I promise you that the Cricut Design Space is super easy to use. And with a little bit of practice, it is so quick to create your own personalized projects. And just work out where I want the stick to go. So I'm gonna use a small piece of double-sided tape and just add on my stick. So there we've got our cake topper that we can then push in to the top of our cake. Now this glitter card is only one-sided so we don't have a glitter on the back. If you did want a glitter on the back, all you need to do is just go back in to your design space. You have the option to mirror the image. So you can just flip it over. So if you wanna cut that out, you can add glitter onto the back of your cake topper also. Okay, so for my second topper, I'm gonna to show you how you can use different materials and add them together. So I'm gonna be using some of the light blue glitter cardstock. I'm then gonna take some of the Smart Paper sticker cardstock. Now, because this one is actually a smart product, we don't need to use the cutting mat. So this pack comes with 10 sheets of pastel sticker card and I'm going to be using the light blue one with the light blue glitter. And again, I've just got a bamboo skewer or you can use a cake pop stick. Back in my Cricut design space, I'm going to start a new project, add some text and just add a number. I'm then going to go in and just change this to everyday fonts and one called announcement. Now I wanna have multiple layers, so I wanna create an offset. So if you can see here, it's created a border around the edge and we can make this as big or as small as we like. 
make that 0.2 inches and apply that. We now have two different colors. So I can actually go in and change the color of these. So for the main part of the five, I'm gonna be using the glitter card. And then we've got the background. So this is gonna be from the blue sticker paper. And I wanna do another offset. So I'm gonna select the lighter blue shape and again, apply another offset. I'm gonna make this the same color as that front one. So Cricut knows that I want the front and the back to be out of the same card. The first thing I want to do is make sure that it's the right size. So I'm gonna select all three layers and just change this to three inches. You can also pull them apart so you can see the different layers you've got. You can then hit make it. And it's asking how we wanna load our material. So for one of those, we're gonna to need to use the mat and for the sticker paper, we'll be able to load that in on its own. So I'm gonna select multiple ways. So here we've got our two different colors. So we've got the middle five on its own and we've then got the back and the front on its own mat as we made those the same color. Now currently it's showing 13 by six for my sticker paper. So I'm just gonna enlarge that so it's the same size as my piece of card. And now I need to select what material I'm using for each. So if I select the first one, I can select smart paper sticker cardstock. It's then asking me to load it into my machine. Once it's loaded in, I can and then press go and it's gonna cut out that number five on top of that sticker sheet. It's then asking me to do the same for the next one. So I'm just gonna select that glitter card and load in my glitter card. So I've just added this onto my mat. So I'm just doing it in exactly the same way as I did before. So here we have our sticker paper and also our glitter card. I'm remove those numbers from my glitter card. And as these ones are actually quite chunky, they're a lot easier to remove. So I'm gonna take off the sticker. Start by sticking that sticker in the center. And then I want this one to go over the top. So I'm just gonna use a small amount of double-sided tape. And this is just the double-sided tape I usually use for attaching ribbons to my cake boards. And again, just stick that in the center. So that's just given us a really different effect that we can use as a topper. So again, I'm gonna flip this over and you wanna work out where you want your stick to go. So I'm gonna have it slightly on the side. And there we have just a really fun number cake topper that we can now add onto our cake. The first two cake toppers that I created, I used the glitter cardstock and also the sticker cardstock. Now for the third one, I'm gonna be using some vinyl and I'm gonna attach this to a pre-made acrylic cake topper. So this one just measures 10 centimeters across. And you can just get these pre-cut as blanks. For the vinyl, you have different options. You've got permanent vinyl. So I've got some examples here, some white, some silver, and some gold. Or you've got removable vinyl. Both of these types of vinyl come in so many different colors. You just wanna make sure that whatever material you're using is for the machine that you've got. So for this one, I'm actually gonna be using some of the metallic gold color. As well as your vinyl, you're also gonna need some transfer tape and this is gonna help you move your letters on to whatever you're adding them onto. Now, just like the sticker paper, the vinyl is actually smart vinyl, so we're not gonna be using that mat. But one thing you will need is the weeding tool just to help us remove any of the shapes in between the letters that we don't need. So I've started a new project and I wanna make sure that the design is gonna fit onto my acrylic disc. So I'm gonna start with shapes and just add a circle. I then want this circle to be in centimeters. So I'm gonna to go to settings and just change it to metric instead of imperial. And I can then change this 10 centimeters. And I'm gonna go in, just change this to white, just so I've got an outline. For this one, I'm gonna add text again, just add happy birthday. And I'm also gonna add a name. Now I want this in a separate font, which is why I've done them as separate layers. So I'm gonna start with the happy birthday. And the font I'm gonna use is called called Hey Marilyn. And for the Sophie, I'm gonna use Kaiden. 
Once I've got the letters on there, I'm just gonna move them around until I'm happy with the position where they're gonna go on my cake topper, just using that circle as a guide. Now, because I have been playing around with the joined up letters, just moving them slightly, I will need to weld these back together just as I did on the first cake topper. I then need to join the happy birthday with the Sophie, just by clicking attach in the bottom right. This just means that when I click make it, it's gonna stay in exactly the same position, showing where it's gonna be cut on the vinyl. And I wanna select that smart vinyl permanent. It's then telling me to load it into my machine just as it did with the other materials. And once it's measured it, I'm just gonna press go. Once that's cut out, trim it down so it's easier to work with. And I'm just gonna grab the corner and just carefully remove the vinyl. I'm just using the weeding tool. So it's just got this point on the end. You can just go in and peel that back. Once that's all done, there we have the happy birthday Sophie. Now to remove the letters from the backing and apply to our acrylic disc, we just wanna take some of the transfer paper. So I've just cut this down and you can just use that Cricut scraper just to make sure that it's all attached. So you just wanna run over the top until all of those letters are connected. So we've then got happy birthday Sophie just on that transfer tape. So we can lay this on top of that acrylic disc and again, just run over the top, making sure they're stuck down. So when I peel off the transfer tape, we're left with our happy birthday Sophie cake topper that we can now add into our cake. Now in this video, I'm just using the Cricut Maker to make cake toppers, but the amount of projects you can create are endless. So you could create stickers and labels, you could create little packaging for your cakes or if you're having a party, you could create banners and cards and just so much more. So here we have three different kinds of really fun cake toppers that you can make and personalize however you like using the Cricut Maker 3. I have to say a massive thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I will leave details to Cricut and their machines in the description below so that you can head over to their website and work out which machine would work best for the kind of projects that you guys want to make. Now I do have to say that even though this video is sponsored all the opinions in the video are my own. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it. Let me know in the comments below do you want to see more videos like this? Also, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, which are usually cake decorating videos, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes by Nancy YouTube channel. You can also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button, and this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. So, until next time, bye!